Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with some of the um, new products released by Dina Wakeley and Ranger using some of the fabulous neon paints. So I'm starting off with my craft journal. Or actually this is my Dina Wakeley journal that's got the craft in it, the black one. And just putting in a layer of um, gesso. And the reason for this is because I want to put some of this cool new tissue paper down. Um, which is all grids and handwriting things and it really appeals to the teacher and me because it's all the stuff I use in my classrooms and um, maths classes and handwriting classes. So it's just got really cool um, grids on them that you could use for all sorts but I just liked it. Tore it in half and used it as a bit of a background. Um, I wanted to see the grid really well which is the reason why I put the um, gesso underneath but also because I'm I am going to be using neon colors on this page and I want them to really really pop. Next I'm going over with some of the Kynation pink which is sort of a pastel pink and now I'm going over with one of the new neon colors from Dina Wakeley which I just divine. Then I added in a little bit of magenta so what I'm trying to do is create um, sort of a framed effect these are the new um, coaster stencils as well from Dina I'm just using the dotty pattern in the middle just to um, ghost away some of that paint so I've got this sort of really bright outside and then um, the ghosted inside to get a bit of pattern so you can still see the grid underneath but um, all the other bits and pieces are coming through when I use neons, I actually really like using my fingers to blend them together. I don't know why, I just like the feeling of them. One thing I've found, those of you who've followed my channel for a long time know I use a lot of neon paints in my work anyway. Um, these ones are slightly different because they're more matte, which is really unusual. It also means they're a little bit more opaque. So usually when I talk about neons, I talk about the transparency of them. These are still transparent, but they're thicker and a little bit more opaque than other brands so um, which is really really good because you can just build up that color so i've mixed the the um fluoro yellow and orange i still haven't got my name my hat around the names of them but they've got great names like shocked and so on um to create a bit of a focal point in the background and i've just used my stabilo all pencils in orange and white and black to sort of um give a bit of a, an outline or edge to that focal image. This magazine collage piece is a printable from the lovely Claire Stead who runs Art Journal Love um, on Instagram and on YouTube. She's just released her own digital prints which I'm loving so um, and it was just perfect for this piece. It's really sort of funky and it goes with the colours in the background. Next I'm breaking out my fluoro Posca paint pens. This is a 7M Posca paint pen, so it's very big and chunky. Just to do a little bit of mic making in the back. Now I'm just priming up my white pen because it was a bit dead to mic make on my um, printable. So I really like when I've got printables to draw around the outside of it. It just helps sort of make everything um, almost cartoony, like um, uh, two two dimensional. It also helps to frame off the piece a little bit more, particularly not so much in this where the piece is all in one, but if you're layering lots of pieces together by drawing around the outside of it really helps it tie together. So to try and keep a bit of continuity with the piece, I'm trying to use some of the same colors I've used in the background. So the neon pinks, the yellows, um, the whites and so on, just to really boost the color. On the white parts of the image, I'm going in with my black pen just to get a little bit of contrast. I also tucked in the Tim Holtz um, ideology wings behind as well because, you know, the, the orange and the yellow really went with the, the background. So just trying to pick up those colours and have some of that repetition happening. Once I've um, finished playing around with this, then I will go in and add a little bit of extra detail with some... Um, other colors so I think um, I end up using a bit of turquoise to add some detail to the cuffs and a little bit of um, metallic so the crown was sort of this yellowy color and I went in with a metallic bronze color I think or gold and then added some detail to the belt buckle and the um, neckline 
So that metallic again just really sort of picks up um, some of those colours in the background. Um, the metallic itself from this one is from Art, Art of Colour. I think it's an Australian brand and it's one of their chrome pens but I know lots of companies do chrome pens. This is another one of my neon finds which is um, a neon pencil from Stedler I think and I got it from those of you who are in Australia I got it from Officeworks so those really chunky paint pens and the neon pencils I got from Officeworks um, because I'm just on a neon run at the moment. <laughs> Finally, just to finish off my page, I'm going in and putting in a quote. So I've got, um, I've used this a few times because I just really love the quote. Um, With brave wings she flies. So, you know, you've got this woman looking very, very confident. She's got her wings behind her. These confident, bright colours and um, a really positive quote as well. Uh, it does help if my pen is actually working though. So. This one is getting to the end of its shelf life. It's starting to flood a little bit and um, quite often when I prime, prime it up, I'll get a little puddle. So I just try and avoid that. Just to help push everything out from the background, I'm using my black pen and just putting a little bit of a drop shadow on each of my letters. And you can just see how that defines the letters um, of the quote. So it really pops out from the background with such bright colors. Um, it is really important to make sure you've got that balance of black and white to make sure it sort of all fits together and you can see all the bits that are sort of really, really important. Finally, because it's me, you can see me tapping my fingers going, is it finished, is it finished? Um, and I decided to get the splatter out. So I broke out the black splatter. This is the black gloss spray. And you can just see that little pop of black across the page kind of finishes it off a little bit. Um, and I'm just heat setting it quickly just so that um, when I close my book it's not going to stick together. So that's the, the finished piece or did I go in and put white? I think I go in and put white just to balance it up as well. So um, I have actually finished my white gloss spray. If you've got that you can use that. Um, I'm just using a white ink or acrylic ink. If you don't have the gloss sprays just use watered down um, acrylic paint. Don't get it on your iPad behind you. Um, do wipe it off quickly. I also managed to get it onto my wings here so I'm just using a little bit of my um, wet wipe to wipe that away. So here you can see the finished piece, how that splatter sort of sits across the entire image. That's a really cool image from Claire um, Stead, sorry, and the final piece. Really, really funky, beautiful bright colours so fun to use and um, a really great way to just pop um, some true brightness on your page. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links below and until next time, bye for now.